Boom chicka pow guys, welcome back to our channel. As always, I'm Daniel. I'm Angela. And this is Sushi for Frickin' Two. And we are so excited to bring you guys a brand new source of content called Friday Night Bites, our little podcast where we take news from around the world and we try to make sense of the nonsense right after this. And just like that, we are back. Before we get started with this new podcast on our episode one of Friday Night Bites, be sure to hit that subscribe button at the bottom, touch that little bell, and we're gonna get right into it right now. Angela, take it away. So how this segment is going to work is I'm finding some new sources and some articles that are funny, weird, or just current hot topics and I'm going to read them to Daniel. He has no idea what we're going to be talking about today and we're going to do two to three stories each time and we're just here to hear his take and my take on these stories. So are you ready to get started? I'm more than ready. Okay, story number one. The headline, couple given $120,000 in accidental bank deposit accused of spending spree. A Pennsylvania couple who police say went on a spending spree after a bank accidentally deposited $120,000 into their account are heading to trial. State police tell the Sun Gazette that Robert and Tiffany Williams spent most of the money on items like an SUV, a race car, two four-wheelers, and a camper. They also paid bills and gave their friends $15,000. BB&T Bank contacted the couple June 20th after realizing the error, telling the couple they were responsible for returning all of the funds. After they failed to repay the money, the bank took legal action, and the couple faces felony theft charges. Okay, let's just like take it back to the beginning with what's going on here. Yeah. All right, so if I was in their shoes, I would have done the same thing. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, if you got $120,000 in your bank account by accident. I would not question it. Yeah. You know, like this rarely happens. It's such a beautiful thing. Right, so also the bank made the mistake. So yeah. they should fess up to it, not calling the feds to come knocking on your door. But I guess like they wanted their money back, um, but they spent it all. Um, I'm just curious. What would you do? I'm just curious about, about the logistics because if you're about to get $120,000, you know how you on your bank account it says from who? Yeah. Did it say where it's from? Or they're just like, oh, what the heck? Let's just spend it? Any details on that? Where is this from? Um, no, I mean, this is in mm, a little city in Pennsylvania. I mean, this shouldn't matter. It's BB&T Bank. I don't know. Maybe they just saw $120,000 and they didn't question it. Maybe they had a lot more in there. No, they didn't have a lot more because they paid their bills and stuff. I don't know. It's really crazy. And what they did is interesting too because, like I told you, they bought a race car, um, an SUV, um, two four-wheelers, and a camper. I don't know what that is. And then they gave their friends $15,000. They're very nice people from what I'm getting from this is that... I don't know, would you give your friends $15,000? Um, absolutely not. <laughs> yeah. So... Listen, they... Wanted, I guess it depends on the circumstances. They wanted but... to live their best life. They just got 120 racks. Yeah. Okay? They're not going to question it. They went straight and used all of it before it was taken away. So I can't blame them on that. Yeah. There's two sides of the scenario, right? Yeah. First one, you have $120,000 just show up and you need to spend as fast as you can. I'm surprised they all used it on cars. That's what I'm saying. It's like, why do you need a race car, like an SUV, and all these things? Like, why so many modes of transportation? That's what I'm not getting. Yeah, it, um, that, that's the left hand side. I get like a house or like an apartment or something. I mean, the hundred twenty thousand. Well, yeah, that's true. Sure. I can't get much with that. But I get like a down payment on something. Like I don't know. That's a little. That's a little crazy. What would you spend it on? Oh, that's a tough one. 120000 Definitely a car. Not that many. Have to get a car. 100%. Um, if I have to pick a car, um, maybe we'll get sponsored after this video. An Audi. So, everyone who sees an Audi or knows an, of an Audi dealer, let them know about this not video. A, not a Hellcat? Um, that's later. Because <laughs> you're not going to let me get that car. <laughs> 
Um, so what I was saying, the left-hand side, you just, you just got $120,000. You, um, you're going to spend it right away because maybe within the next 10 minutes, that error is going to be fixed. Yeah. The right-hand side of it is, hold up. There's $120,000 in my account. I've watched enough movies to know that something is about to go down. It's never, you don't just get free money just like that. Yeah. It doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. In the lottery, they still either take half of it, half of it away. Um, if for some reason someone ma made a mistake, it's somehow mafia related. And like, you're going to have like, I, you heard those stories, how they have like chopped heads of cats yeah. being left in your doorstep until you did something. Like, I don't know. I feel like if I was in that predicament, I would use the money. But at the same time, the little scaredy cat within me be like, why is that yeah. there? I do not want to touch it because there's something probably attached to that money. Yeah, that's the problem. I Now that I think about it, like I would be very happy if $120,000 just like appeared in my account. But at the same time, I would feel very guilty. And I would immediately, knowing me, I would just go to the bank and say, like, this happened. I would never... Even though I wish I was the kind of person, I'm not to accept that. I don't know. I, I think I would say something, but I guess they took the other route and they spent it as fast as they possibly yeah, could. Yeah. And not only did they try to spend it, like they tried to, you know, clean it dry because they had a lot left over and they gave their friends $15,000. So. so you asked me, I'm going to ask you, if you had $120,000 right off the bat, what would you buy? I would go buy all the makeup in the world that I could, that I have been depriving myself of. I would buy so much makeup. I would get a new phone because I think mine is broken. Um, I don't know. I would I would honestly save money for a rainy day. It sounds weird, but like, I don't know. I would get all the makeup I want. I would get a new phone. Maybe like a car. Yeah. No. I get a car. You need a car. I would get a car. <laughs> she needs a car. <laughs> I would get a car, makeup, and a new phone. And then the rest I'd save. Just throwing it out there, she has a car. It's but I just... need a new one. But stop, but... stop. Knock on wood. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. I have an amazing car. She's doing fine. Please. <laughs> yeah, no. she, 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 She's good. It gets her from A to B. <laughs> so... um, I, I would definitely get a car. Um... I'll definitely probably try to book some uh, So you plane would tickets. take the money? You wouldn't like feel guilty about it and say something? That so says a lot about your funny, character. What's funny is um, if I took that money mm -hmm. and applied it to my loans, I'll still be in the negative net worth. <laughs> okay, no one's saying to do that. <laughs> I mean, that would be a way of me giving it back to them. It's just like, oh, okay, I owe you that money anyway. But it's so not just, that bank, it's bb &T. Well, I'm just saying. Yeah. Um, but if, let's just say, I someone said, listen, you have five minutes to spend $120,000. Um, 100% getting TV, building two more computers TV? because... TV? You have a TV. I said TV? Oh, let's, go, let's scratch that. I'm going for the car. Yeah. Car, uh, building a new computer, probably two of them. Uh, one gaming machine, one streaming machine. Um, well editing machine I guess you can say because if you guys haven't checked out our latest video with the um, surprise challenge for Angela and Magic Kingdom um, just a little backstage access that video took a month to edit because my computer was fuming but we're gonna go back to this little story right now um, that would probably put me at least at around a hundred thousand right then and there depending on the car and the computers I want another twenty thousand cruises traveling somewhere um and probably get a subscription for every one of those like eating services that gets sent out to your house you know this just really shows your priorities in life and like i i'm loving it okay i'll give a little bit to donation i don't know still i'm loving your priorities <laughs> are you ready to move on to um, the next story were they arrested or just what's the end of that they're awaiting trial awaiting trial yes well you know what I have one message for them, and my message is, you guys did it right, you guys lived your, your best life, I don't know what their financial status was beforehand, I'm um, upset maybe they had the nothing. Bank. I'm upset with the bank. Listen, the bank made a mistake, you need to fess up to it, stop trying to go after Plus, the little man. what's like, just 120000 no to a bank? That's, That's nothing. nothing. That's nothing. Like, literally, like, yeah. they could probably lose that, like, at... at any given time. Yeah. That's literally nothing. Let the people enjoy, and let them just, like... It's a one-time thing to make people happy. You see, this is bad PR for BBNT. Yeah. You know, they're coming after the little man. They're coming after you. Yeah. Or me. Yeah. All of us. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, with that being said, let's transition into the second story. Okay, so this one is a long one, but... Let's take it piece by piece. Yeah, yeah, this one's a long one. We'll take it piece by piece. Um, I just wanted to hear your take on it because I, I can't. <laughs> okay, so woman, this is the headline. This is a title. Woman in a five-year relationship with Boeing 737-800, and it's physical. Okay. Okay, you're gonna have to repeat that title for me one more so, time. Woman. <laughs> okay. In woman five, in a five-year relationship with a Boeing seven thirty-seven. She has her own plane. I don't know the deets, but it's a Boeing seven thirty-seven. Okay, so and Boeing seven thirty-seven. It's a seven thirty-seven dash eight hundred. For everyone to know, it's a seven thirty-seven dash eight hundred. But we're not gonna be mentioning the eight hundred each time because that's a long title. Okay. So it's seven thirty-seven. Seven thirty-seven. Okay. I think it doesn't make a difference, but maybe eight hundred is smaller. So. so just from the conversation that we're having right now, it's just a simply a woman with a five-year relationship. With a plane. Is it? A, is the relationship to the plane? Or the, I is just she said in it's a getting physical. So with I the plane. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I just thought she was in a relationship and she has a plane. <laughs> no. Are you Okay, kidding? it's even weirder. Okay, okay. I'm you sorry. Did you hear what I said? That's why I'm trying to th- digest everything that you're throwing at me. Okay. okay. So it's not a person, it's a plane. Got it. In a relationship with a plane. Yes. Got it. Okay. Ready? So we can go piece by piece. Piece by piece. 100%. This is, some, this is a doozy. A woman says that she's in a five year relationship with the love of her life, a passenger jet she calls darling. Michelle Kopke, 30, from Berlin, Germany, considers herself in a relationship with the Boeing 737-800. Michelle says she's been in love with the aircraft for five years, and their relationship is very much physical. All right, let's just stop right there. It's going to hold on. Let me read this last line. Okay. It's long. It's not that long. This is just... just I just want to do it piece by piece. It's all full of interesting facts, though. So she says that the seven... This is a quote. The 737-800 is very attractive and sexy to me. He's the most beautifully built, and he's very attractive in an elegant aircraft. And he, he's darling. She even nicknamed the 737-800 Schatz in German, because this is in Germany, which translates into darling. Okay, so the plane's name is Darling. It's and honestly, it's a sexy stud. It only gets better from here. Okay. Okay. But, unlike regular relationships, Michelle is unable to spend quality time with her boyfriend. Adding, a relationship with a plane is not easy and at times it is difficult. I can only get close to him when I fly with him or when I can get to him in the hangar, which has only happened once in my life. However, she has found different ways to indulge in her affection. She says, I have a big model of him made of fiberglass as well as real components from him so I can act out my love to some degree. She showed BTV, which is like, I guess, the station that ran this report, um, various pictures of her kissing the 737-800 and cuddling with components of the plane, such as doors and panels. Um, Michelle doesn't see the physical side of her relationship with the Boeing as any different than humans. It's like a normal, she says, it's like a normal relationship. We have relaxed... (laughs) We have relaxing evenings together, and when we go to bed, we cuddle and fall asleep together. Um, Michelle realized she has a weakness for airplanes when she took her first flight in November 2013. In March 2014, she boarded her first 737-800 flight, and it was love at first flight. She said, I got, I got so excited when with boarding the plane, I realized that I'm in love with this 737-800. Years later, she finally got to spend some quality time alone with her lover in an airport hangar. The first time we really met was May 1st, 2019. I enjoyed every millisecond with him. My cheeks hurt from smiling. I'm the happiest woman in the world. When I'm with him, I have everything I need. It's almost over, guys. It's, this is all amazing. Um, what Michelle finds particularly irresistible about the 737-800 is the winglets. When I touch his wings, I get immediate sweaty palms and I get excited. Her ultimate dream is to marry her darling. She says, I want to marry my sweetheart and live with him in a hangar. It's just a special kind of love that doesn't hurt anybody. After after an overwhelming day for Michelle, 
She admits her frustration. She says, I wish it was more accepted in society, but there are always people who don't accept it. I'm simply different, and I stand for my love to my 737. Thoughts. Oh, my God. Isn't this, honestly, I don't know how to feel because on one hand, it's so funny to me that, like, I, I, it's so funny. But on the other hand, like, I do feel a little bit bad for her because I know it's like a thing. You know how like my strange addiction, people are in love with their couch cushions and they want okay. to marry their mattresses. I'm going to have to give you my unfiltered opinion yeah. on the story that I just heard. Yeah. This individual. Don't be so mean. It's sick. Yeah, for sure. There is a she's few sick. Screws, screws loose yeah, she's sick. in her head. Yeah. Okay. For sure. Um, all right. So you threw a lot of information at me and I'm just trying to like remember everything. So what are her priorities? So she had a one date and that's when she just said like that she met plane. Her once, is, yeah. Okay. How does she meet no. the plane? Did she climb over the fence to like go meet the plane? No, she took a flight. Oh, she, was, she had a flight. Yeah, she said she took a flight. The second that she boarded the 737, she realized she's in love. Uh, I don't so know. So she's in love with the plane, but like, even though the pilot was behind the flying, I, it just, is it something like, I guess it's like those the, seats are just nice and leathery and buttery? I like, guess it's what like happened. the physical flight because like, I guess because the pilot just like flies the plane, but like the plane is the body and that's what she liked. I don't know. I oh can't, my God. This... I can't imagine what is so attractive about a plane, but like that flight must have been good. I just have so many issues with this story because this honestly shouldn't even be a story. Yeah. They should not be facilitating this type of content because it's going to give other people's idea, like give people ideas about like, let me start loving inanimate objects. So it's actually a thing. I think that it's called like, I forgot what the word is, but it's actually a thing that there's people that are in love with inanimate objects, which I mean, it is definitely like a problem. But at the same time, I just, I can't imagine her going to a hangar and just making out with the winglets of a plane. Like, that's just so funny to me. And she says she loves the wings. Yeah, that's her favorite She's part. She's like, tickling it? Or yeah, like... that's her favorite. That's her favorite. What, do you, what is that? Like, well, how do you Ew, like the wings? That's like... her favorite part. I mean, I don't want to get, I don't want to get down and dirty, but like, what does she do with the plane? Like, how does she show intimacy with the plane. She said it's starting to get physical. I'm guessing she kisses it. what is it. that? Like, are we talking about, like, Let the nose see. of the plane? Like, what, what are we talking about? Let's see. I, I, I just need to know specifics at this point. I'm I'm too invested into a story that should have never been published. Oh, they broke up. They broke up? Hold on. Where's the breaking news? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No, no. They're together. Sorry. Is this a Twilight Saga? Like, what's no, going on? No, no, on? they're good, they're good. What is going on I, here? I read that women broke up with the plane, but no, they're fine. So this is a picture of her with the plane. Oh my god. So she's kissing the plane. It's actually a thing, everybody. She, like, tongue action and everything was involved in that picture. Oh. She sleeps with, oh, here we go. So she sleeps with him, like a model. Oh, the fiberglass model? She sits in her lover's cockpit. And then she's like cuddling the front of the plane. And she says that her dream is to live in the hangar. Ah. Hmm. Uh. Okay, so we just have full evidence that this person actually takes this seriously. Unless she's try just trying to get attention, because that's what I'm feeling it is. Yeah, there's. How do you fall in love with a plane? I guess like there's so many things that you can't explain, but you're falling in love with the plane. That you fl flown on once. How do you know that was the plane you flown on? No, I think it's just the model, 737. I don't think it's that one plane. The thing is, is though, like, I do give her credit because, like, on one hand, this is weird. But on the other hand, like, think about it. It's actually kind of ideal. This plane is never going to cheat on her. He's never going to hurt her. He's never going to lie to her. He's Whoa. never going to play games. He's never going to do anything bad to her. He's just there for her you see and this is the problem because you're supporting this type of, i'm not supporting like, it i can see this i can i can try to under i can sympathize with her i always try to understand i on one hand i know i'm more on the this is strange and like i don't support it but on the other side i'm trying to understand her and it's like he's not gonna leave her 
He's always going to be in the hangar. Uh, that's not true because he can after, get I believe, away. after 10 years, someone can uh, double check that and fact check for me. They actually get rid of those planes. They're, they're disserviced. Yeah, but it's the same model. She's in love with the model, 737-800. I just feel like away. this plane is never going to hurt her, lie to her, deceive her. That plane she shows no lust. Deal. It's yeah, an but, inanimate object. Yeah, but she doesn't have to deal with the heartache of a man. You know? He's not going to wake up one day and say, I don't love you. It's a plane. Yeah, but what if the wings aren't, like, you know, as amazing anymore? And she's like, she, All she has to do is, like, buff them or call the manufacturer to fix it. The manufacturer can fix her man in two seconds. You know what I mean? I don't know. Boeing is not going to fly out to where was this? England? Germany. Germany. How not does she know it's out? a man? Because if she knows she loved the freaking plane, I think she can figure out if it's a man or a woman. Yeah, but do, do you view a plane as a man or a woman? I feel like the Planes word plane is just masculine. Yeah, I think so too. I can't see like a woman plane. Plus, weren't there... Um, Remember there was like a show with like planes? Thomas, the train, he was a train. No, that's a train. <laughs> Were there planes in there? I have no idea. I have a feeling I remember there was a show with flying planes. And I know there was cars. There's the train show. No planes. I think there was a plane in Cars 2 or 3. Yeah, like I'm seeing a manly plane. The point is, it's a man. And I, I don't know. Well, in these days, a plane could be anything. Thank you. I mean... True. Well, I wish Michelle the best of luck. I the only thing that I do worry about her is like I don't know if all girls are like this, but I do know that most girls are in relationships. Especially she's been with this plane for like what five years already. She I'm sure wants to take that step and like she does want to get married and like she does want children and she does want all these things. It's like how is the plane like? Sure, he's not gonna leave her and the plane is there for her at all times. Cool, but when she is ready to get married. How is that going to go? How is she going to, like, have children? Does she think she's going to have children with the plane? They'll have little private jets. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> wow. I think the main takeaway from the story, um, what we should do is, if you could give her one piece of advice, you go first, and then I'll go. Why? If you, you already, obviously. You're the moderator. You, you, have, the obviously, have, you obviously have the no, advice. No, 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 no. You first, So, Mel. advice, like, how? Just what would you tell her in this current situation? If you were to meet her tomorrow and you had a one-on-one -on -one chance to talk to her about her situation right now, what would you tell her? Go. I would say I understand her because, you know... So, so you would facilitate this relationship? I'm not done. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I would say I understand her. So to let her know that she is not, you know, weird. I mean, to each his own, we're all different. I can fall in love with whatever, so... Okay, I understand her. Maybe the plane did have like a sparkle in its fucking... Sorry. Oops. The plane had a sparkle in its seat. I don't know. But I would also remind her of the beauty of like relationships. That and humankind. The beauty of relationships is that they're constantly evolving and that they're dynamic. And unfortunately, although an object can fulfill you like internally, I feel like an object can't give you what essentially the point of a relationship is you know a relationship is two things in a dynamic thing like learning and growing how is she gonna learn from the plane how is the plane gonna learn from her how is she gonna evolve with the plane you know so what is the main takeaway what you're saying the main takeaway is like think of your long-term plans michelle and if you don't want to get married and you don't want children and you don't want to feel fulfillment in your life from a relationship, then there's nothing wrong with what you're doing. And if it makes you happy, you do you, boo. That's how I feel. Wow. That was beautiful. Was it? Not but you get what I'm saying, right? No, I get it. It just, I'm on a completely different spectrum. Like, if, the, if your spectrum is right here. What? But the whole relationship thing makes sense, what I said. Not with inanimate no, objects. No, but I said that. Did you even listen to a word I said? Of course I did. I said that if she wants something to happen with her, like, relationship to progress, then did some, uh, the plane is not the thing for her. Yeah, maybe she's going to move on to Air Force One. Okay, let me hear your piece of advice. <laughs> the floor is yours. It's very simple. Um, it's called going to the doctor. 
<laughs> and getting this evaluated because there's a literal problem that's going on, okay? Um, actually, in medical terminology, we talked about this the other day, when it comes to eating inanimate objects, do you remember what was that called? Pika. Pika. It's not inanimate okay. objects, it's eating objects that are not meant to be consumed. Inanimate objects. Food is an inanimate object. Well, for well, for example, like cardboard or desk or That's like what I'm just saying. Food, by a tire. Okay. Items that are not meant to be used for consumption. Because chicken nuggets are not animate. Well, point is, that is a medical condition it that is. stems from either having side effects from drugs and so forth. So when you have that issue, the doctor is there to make sure to get rid of it. So this is, in this particular case, instead of eating planes, she's a loving a plane. So clearly there's something going on. There's a mental imbalance. What was her name again? Michelle. Michelle, please, if you somehow find this video, I want you to take this with a grain of salt or at least take it with the full canister of salt because I need you to understand where I'm coming from, okay? You, my darling, and not the plane. No, I shouldn't say my darling because my darling is freaking plane. Okay, hold on. All right. Um, Michelle, <laughs> I need you to look me in the eyes, okay? I need you to take this seriously and get this checked out, all right? You clearly know how to dress. In the pictures, we've seen your outfit. You're, you're on top of your game. You are a fashionista, okay? You have potential. You can go anywhere. You can go to the club. You can go to the bookstore. You can go wherever. There is love for you out there, but this right here is only harming your potential. Please stop trying to make out with a freaking plane, okay? It's a plane, for God's sake. <laughs> Well, these are very different takes on it. Let us know in the comments who you agree with. Do who you... made sense of the nonsense the best? I feel like I made more sense of the nonsense because I, I took it in a humane approach. But if you guys think Daniel, if you guys think me, let us know below. It's probably not me. It's probably it's, it's not Daniel. her. It's not her. <laughs> but let us know below what you guys think. Have you ever heard of people having relationships with other objects? This is... I know I've heard of stuff, but I can't confirm what object it was. So this is the first time I have full-on like proof of an object. So. so before we go, I just want to mention just a few more things. Um, Friday Night Bites will be a weekly show or podcast that we're going to be working on going forward. Every Friday night, it shall be uploaded. Um, we also have another show planned uh, for a weekly show. And we got to have our typical challenges and skits going forward. So if you guys like what you hear, uh, make sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, subscribe down below, click those, the bell, we're going to call them the wings. Um, just the wings. The, the wings. Uh, please click that bell. Um, that's my darling that I'm in love with. So if you guys want to show that love, please click that bell. Um, comment down below what you guys thought about our first episode of our fi Friday Night Bites. And with that being said, we're going to see you guys next Friday. So thank you so much for tuning in. And do you have anything else to add? No. Thank you for watching. All right. You guys are the best. See you later.